Hello, hello! Welcome back to the Stay Fitness channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Daniela. I'm a fitness, nutrition, and life coach specializing in obesity and diabetes management. So today I'm very excited to show you that I've been experimenting again. So basically, I I love finding things and like finding out how they're made. I've previously tried to make like hot dogs. I haven't succeeded yet because it's uh, harder than it looks. I just, um, I like seeing things that maybe look really processed and like actually seeing like how they're made. And uh, in this case it's Spam. Um, it's considered probably the most processed meat of all. People probably think it's like made of all sorts of crap. So I don't know, I have curiosity, I Googled. Uh, how to make spam. I looked on YouTube and I actually found the recipe it was pretty easy. I'm gonna link uh, the original one in the description below. I don't remember. I watched so many. Um, and then I saw that the only extra thing I needed was uh, some nitrates, uh, which actually did. I bought a sachet and actually saw that like um, is a salt and then like the 6% of that salt has a bit of nitrates um, so it's not like if you put a teaspoon of the salt is all nitrate so uh, the quantity actually needed is extremely low uh, if you worry about that and then I also saw that like other ingredients of spam are pretty like good it's like pork shoulder and um, yeah, it's basically pork shoulder, I don't use different mixes of meat um, and it's like an emulsion made of meat, like it's nothing weird and so I thought let's give it a go because I just don't try anything I think I ate spam like only once in my life uh, so I don't have much uh, spam experience uh, but yeah, I just wanted to see if I can do it um, and uh, my recipe is super easy, it takes like 5 minutes to prep uh, let's say 15 minutes in total then it cooks for like 40 45 minutes and that's it you can make yourself some nice homemade spam um it's super cheap cheaper than even buying the actual spam uh and it's something that you've made at home um so yeah the basic ingredients are um so basic the problem is the minced pork that you buy in the supermarket is way too lean you have to inject it with fat somehow so i thought of adding some pork belly um, and then for that hammy flavor you're going to add some actual ham so in total for this recipe you need 600 grams like about a pound of uh, product so it's like 500 gr uh, 250 minced pork 250 uh, pork belly and then 100 grams of ham um, and uh, the wet ingredients are only a quarter of a cup of water, half a tablespoon of tapioca starch for the whole thing, so don't freak out. Very long carbs, like almost no carbs per like slice or anything. It's like half a tablespoon, and um, the sodium and the sodium nitrate. Uh, and then I didn't add any extra salt because the problem also is it's spam and lots of people think it's like so salty so if you make it at home you can actually control how much salt you add so only added the one teaspoon of salt with a bit of nitrates in and then all you need to do is uh, blend it up i really recommend for the all the ingredients to be half frozen as frozen as possible because it's going to help your food processor to create an emotion if all the ingredients are warm the emotion is going to break the fat is going to separate and it's going to also be really hard for your blade to be able to blend the the to break the meat fibers so yeah, all the ingredients I was using, they're either cold fridge, but even better, uh, freeze from the freezer, kind of half frozen. Um, and then you plan all the ingredients, put them into a loaf, tin, triple, double or triple cover it with foil. And then you need to cook it at super low temp, 155 degrees Celsius, uh, the, uh, Fahrenheit or, hun no, it was like 150, no, sorry was Alexa how much is 120 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit 120 degrees Celsius is 248 degrees Fahrenheit so 250 Fahrenheit 120 Celsius 
for about uh, 30 to four, uh, 40 to 45 minutes until it reaches an internal temperature of 68 degrees Celsius or 155 Fahrenheit. For once I remember the Fahrenheit miracle. Um, and uh, so after it comes out of the oven, you let it cool down and then you cover it. Uh, then you have to pour weight on it uh, for overnight so it, like, it compresses. And uh, yeah, after one night in the fridge, um, it's ready. Um, all you need to do is slice it up and fry it. Um, and uh, yeah, here it's ready, it's all done. Uh, I bet you thought it's gonna be way longer and harder and complicated or lots of processing, but actually Spam is mainly processed, at least the homemade version. Um, and uh, yeah, all it's left to do is have a taste, which I tasted a little bit, but I'm gonna taste more. I mean, I'm just like, the light is like so beautiful, it's like sunset, it's very golden, I would, like, yeah, nothing to do with the recipe, uh, but yeah, let's, here's my spam. Okay, some people think my fan is really be too low on the salt. I think it's fine. But yeah, you could add like half a teaspoon more if you want that like salty, spammy, um, kind of that spammy saltiness. Uh, I think it's a touch too lean still. I think I would, uh, if I when I make it again, I would up the amount of pork uh, belly because it needs fat, like one missing from this one is just that buttery, fatty spamminess. Uh, but otherwise, pretty amazing, like it's a, it's homemade, like you can use it for like ham and cheese toasty, it tastes like ham basically. Um, uh, as I say, I only had it like uh, once in my life, so my experience is very limited. But you can make so many like nice recipes. Like this is such a budget-friendly, also budget-friendly uh, recipe. You can use it as I said for like sandwiches, like protein-sparing bread. Um, if you're eating rice, you can make uh, spam fried rice, which is not amazing. And if you're worried about the half tablespoon of tapioca starch, uh, maybe I'm gonna try make it without. Uh, it might come anyway. It's like such a minimal, um, such minimal quantity, so it might work. Um, but yeah, this is all I have to show you for. Day. Let me know in the comments below if you did enjoy this recipe, if you enjoy my experiments, if there's something else that you would want me to try out. I love, I just love little, these kind of little projects. Like I found a recipe, then I get into the rabbit hole, I watch like a million uh, videos how to make it, try to find the easiest way to do it, and then yeah, try to propose it to you and see if you like it, <laughs> basically. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Please, please, please subscribe, like this video, share it and all that and I'll see you next time. Bye.